Okay, so this is everything gotten from the Utica Comets game on November 16th, 2019. And of course, this was the first time I was ever there, so I did pick up my normal t-shirt and hat. Um, they didn't have a lot of other stuff. If you watch my other videos, specifically during baseball season a lot, because my league baseball team seem to have a lot of stuff that I collect. Um, there's usually other kinds of stuff that I like to get, like programs, uh, souvenir cups, uh, trading cards, which in general, AHL just seems to really be uh, <clears throat> pulling back on those kinds of stuff, specifically trading cards. I think like a few years ago, there were several teams that had trading cards. And now I think the only ones that sell team sets anymore are the Penguins in uh, Wilkes-Barre. So, and uh, programs aren't really that big of a deal anymore in AHL, I think. Uh, Phantoms do have one, but they have never once advertised it. And it's not really out in the open either. Like, it literally took me more than two years to find out that they even had one. So, um, but yeah, that, I guess that's a story for another day. So, essentially what I'm trying to say is, at most other teams, I would have a lot more stuff here for my first time being at the arena or stadium, but this time they didn't have a lot. And if they did have any of those items, I was looking for it. I could not find anything. Like I said, it took me more than two years to figure out Phantoms had a, um, had a program. So <laughs> maybe I just missed it, but I was really looking around the store, looking around the concourse, couldn't find anything. And, uh, so yeah, <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's move on here. So this is this is the printed ticket stub for the night. Utica Comets, Rochester Americans. Um, then you have some ads. That uh, Tavern and Grill is actually, um, I wouldn't say connected to it, but it's on the same land. So you literally walk out one of the doors and it's right there. So, um, but yeah, that's a printed ticket stub. Um, here is the giveaway of the night. Um, when you walk in, they gave you this team photo. And at the end, it was really cool because down, literally right outside the locker room, you went down the stairs and they were right, all right outside their locker room, um, at like kind of in a line of tables. And, uh, you know, you're able to get the whole team to sign it. So that's really cool. And also, once you're done, you walked right through, you know, the the media place where they always have the uh, post-game interview kind of stuff. They had the backdrop with ads and the Utica Comet logo. I hope I'm describing that well enough for you to know what I mean. So that was really cool. And they do it. They do autograph night a whole lot better than Phantoms do. Um, you know, they actually make sure everyone in line gets their autographs. They're all in one place. They're not scattered around in groups of two or three around the whole arena. Like Phantoms, they do that and they only give you 45 minutes, which seems like a lot of time. But when you, you know, you have lines, you end up with that much, which I would, I think I get on the higher end of most people when it comes to autographs. You know, those people that actually do it legitimately, not because there are some people that <laughs> have like groups of four or five people trying to sign the same thing so they get as many as possible. But, um, you know, if you're only one person getting the autographs for the Phantoms, I think I'm on the higher end because I always choose the shortest lines. You know, if you're going for a very popular player and you really want that player, you're going to stand in a longer line. So you'll probably get less. So, you know, basically Utica does their autograph night a whole lot better than uh, Phantoms do. So... But that's pretty cool. And it's in a team photo, too, which is, uh, I'm not going to say better, but it is different than that. You know, I, honestly, I don't know which ones, which version I prefer, because those are like actual posters and each individual player has their own picture sort of thing. Um, and this is just team photos. So I don't really know what I prefer. It's still, you know, unique and pretty cool, though. So, yeah, and nothing on the back. So that's a... That's that stuff, and now the stuff that I got in the store. I think 
in one of the cases in the store, I found like a Monopoly game for Utica or something, um, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, my hometown is literally just a small town of like 10,000 and we have a, a, a Monopoly game. So um, anyway, here's the Utica Comets hat. This is one of their alternate logos, the U and then the, uh, you know, what's supposed to be a Comet, but actually a hockey puck, if you look at it, you know, flying through the U. Um, they didn't have a wider range of hats, so I kind of got, you know, one of these old style hats, adjustable with this metal clip, um, which I'm not complaining about, but it's, you know, normally I would have, you know, something like that. You know, to me, I just prefer those kinds of hats, but they didn't really have that wide of a selection, so, um, yeah, that's the hat. And this is the shirt pretty plain shirt just a gray one with the main logo on it you do the comments there's a comet hockey puck again and some stars and uh there's nothing on the back i can show you that but it's not really worth it yeah because there's nothing there so um yeah anyway uh utica was a great city great arena for what it is it is the smallest arena um in the ahl by quite a bit, I think, and seats 3,800. Um, but yeah, so everything I've pretty much said in this video about like, oh, they didn't have this, they didn't have a great selection of that. That that's just because it's a small team. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not saying anything bad about them. It's just you know, <laughs> and they're in like a arena from like built in like the 60s too. So, um, you know, it's just what they have. So, anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later.